no shit, there I was, barreling down this mountain bike descent near Salida, Colorado. So I was really focusing on just staying on the trail. And at some point in that ride, there was no me, no bike. There just was. I wasn't there, yet there I was in one of the most awesome events of my life. I was in the flow state, and it was delicious. We've all been in flow. Let's say you get really immersed in a project. You look up. It's five hours later and your bladder's about to explode because you've been so focused on what you've been doing. Why don't we do this all the time? The answer? We get in our own way. Remember Lolo Jones, an American hurdler? In an interview with Time Magazine, she said, I was just in this amazing rhythm, and then I started telling myself to make sure my legs were snapping out, so I overtried. That's when I hit the hurdle. She got in her own way. She tripped on the ninth of ten hurdles and finished seven. There was a study at Harvard that found that 50% of the time we get caught up in regretting things from the past. Even when we're daydreaming about that perfect Hawaiian vacation, we're no happier than when we're in the present moment. They concluded that a wandering mind is an unhappy mind. So here we brought in experienced meditators to see what their brains would look like when they were meditating. Here's a network of brain regions called the default mode network. Experienced meditators, these brain regions get really quiet when they're meditating. So we turn to a new technique called real-time fMRI neurofeedback, where we can actually take a picture of people's brains while they're meditating and see what it looks like. So we did this with novice and experienced meditators. And we just had them lay in the scanner, meditate with their eyes open, and then check in with the graph to see how well their brain activity was corresponding to their experience. And they all reported a very good correspondence with increased activity in this posterior cingulate and getting in their own way, as well as decreased activity and being uh, in a meditative state. Some of our experienced meditators were reporting spontaneously getting into flow and seeing that this lined up with their posterior cingulates getting really, really quiet. Some of our novices were actually learning from this. This novice said, yes, the first run lined up with my experience, second run lined up with my experience, and in the third run he said, wait a minute, your neurofeedback thing doesn't work. The graph was all red, but I was thinking about my breath. What's the problem here? Thinking about my breath. He got caught up in thinking. In the very next run, his brain looked completely different. And he said, oh, I get it, the physical sensation of the breath. In just nine minutes, he learned the difference between getting caught up and getting out of his own way. He came out of that scanner and said, wow, what was that? When can I do it again? Reality is so much more delicious than our concepts of it. And perhaps we can add a little bit of neurofeedback to help people learn and really see what it's like to get in their own way and get out into the flow of life. Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. We all are awesome. We just have to get out of our own way. Thank you.